What's going on, everybody? Sorry for the late videos today. I just realized the videos that I made, my program XSplit updated, and it didn't put all my initial settings in properly. So I had that buzzing sound in the background and everything else. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So a little bit later for a video today, but something that was brought to my attention by a few people is talking about the difference between a reprint versus a counterfeit reprint. It, it's actually a good topic. And with that being said, I'm going to pull something up here because I'm going to jump right into this. So hopefully I hit everything I did originally in these videos because my notes are all gone. All right, this was emailed to me, the Mike Trout 101 reprint on eBay. There's two of them, both graded by GMA. Now, if you look at the title up here, they have the RP before all this stuff here, down here, right here, RP, means reprint. So the meaning of reprint is supposed to be that the licensed company, in this case be Tops, made a reprint of this card. And say they did it for like 2012, well, we'll go way later, 2020 Bowman. On the back, it would have a different date for production, for one. And that's usually the biggest thing to tell. Why GMA graded these? Because when you grade a card, you're saying that's an authentic card. This is actually a counterfeit card that was made. And I'm going to show you guys. Now, both of these are from different sellers, too. So, when you look at it, there we go. It was kind of stuck there in, like, pause mode. GMA does say, rookie um, facsimile reprint. Not exactly, because in 2009, they did not make a reprint of this card. If you go down here, where the bottom, well, it'll be on your left-hand side, but the bottom of the card, as you read it, where tops is, Barely can see this on this one here, but it's 2009. It says it's the year that this card was produced. A lot of different things on to it, including the 101 probably wouldn't be on it. Um, there, there's just a lot wrong with this card to be an authentic. This is somebody actually went out and made a reprint of this card counterfeit-wise. I'm sure this guy has probably already been, both of them have been hit up. And I'm going to show you guys a couple other things on to it. You roll down here. You were supposed to put in this specifics that it's a reprint. Not in your title, not in the description, because according to new eBay standards they hit me with, you had to list all these categories and all these things out. This is wrong across the board. And I, I just, I'm not a fan of this at all. This here will catch a lot of people off guard where they'll spend their money thinking, oh, it's, you know, Topps made a reprint of this. $390. Boom, let's get it. No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. So let's look at this other one here real quick. And they're calling it Refractor. They even call it a Super on this. Same exact title. I mean, if you look right there in the upper left-hand corner, it says Certified Auto. I guess if they're going to copy the card, they just took the whole thing. And if I do recall right, Vegas Dave is still the owner of this. I believe it's in a PSA slab, if I recall right, or back at one of the two. Why somebody would crack it and said the GMA would be besides me. But when you look here, you can kind of tell that where I was talking about earlier, where the blue at the bottom, it says at TM and at 2009. There's nowhere on here showing a different date of when this card would have been reproduced. This here is a counterfeit card, no matter how you look at it, straight counterfeit. If this would have been a reprint, there would be a different date down there at the bottom and all kind of other stuff onto it. Plus, Topps is usually not going to reprint a Super Fractor. They might reprint a regular one as a reprint card, but not the Super. So be careful when you're buying this stuff out there. It's getting through all these grading companies, regardless who it is. I mean, we haven't really talked GMA. I don't think in anything really negative on trim cards and all that recently. But this here really caught my eye. And before somebody out there buys this, be sure you know what you're getting yourself into because... I wouldn't even pay a dollar for this card, to be honest, because there's just so much bad. If you guys think back in the 90s, if you're that old, you had all those counterfeit Bo Jacksons and Jordan stuff going out when he switched over to baseball. And it went on through the years where it was non-licensed people doing this stuff. 
Now we got people taking pretty much photographs of these pictures, putting it onto a card, and making their own thing up. I mean, really, if they catch who's doing this, Thompson really could have some fun with this stuff if they want to. I don't know. They might not. Maybe it draws attention. Who knows? But to me, I just don't want anybody getting caught up buying one of these. And next thing you know, you find out that card's not even worth anything because it's just somebody made a copy of it, put it in there, and, well, unfortunately, GMA graded as a 10. And like I said, Toss usually will not make reprints of a Super Fractor if they stick it in a product. It would have been the original card, and it, it would have had a lot of different stuff on to it. I can just tell you that. Just from knowing it through the years. So when you guys see stuff up in here like reprint or RP in a title, that means it's supposed to be a like a legit reprint through Top's company. So I'm going to go back here. If you ever want to get rid of stuff like this RP, all you do is up here you put in minus RP, and I'm going to show you. It's going to take away the 489 one, okay? Gone. The only reason is 389's up here because the RP is not spaced out and they added all this other number stuff at the end of it. So, if you're ever looking for a way to get tired of looking through all this stuff for reprints or at least try to take out a good chunk, just put a minus or whatever you're not looking for, like RP for reprint, you put minus reprint 2 on there and it'll take it all out of your search engine for you. Something cool somebody showed me and I figured I'd pass it along in case nobody knows about it. Um... But like I said, with the National coming up and stuff like that, I want to get some of this stuff put out so people that are going there don't, you know, in the heat of a moment with everything that's being passed around and stuff's going quick, you don't pick this up, think it's a good deal, cool piece to your collection. I wouldn't spend this kind of money on something like this. That, that there is just somebody trying to make some money out there out of the hobby again. One, You know, surprise me. <laughs> But like I said, nothing really surprised me anymore with what people will do to make money and take advantage of others out there, and it's just another way of it. Um, I'm trying to think here. Oh, if anybody else has any other ways of checking for stuff like this, put down in the comments, guys. I always read through the comments because I will tell you there's a lot of people who have made comments with a lot of good information on this stuff to help everybody out. There's a lot of stuff I've learned through reading people's comments as well, too. But the idea this year behind these videos is to keep awareness out there and, you know, get, gain some knowledge on different areas and to keep this stuff fresh in everybody's minds because everybody's out there trying. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. There's a good chunk of people out there trying to take advantage of you, whether it's um, overselling in breaks or trim cards, fake autographs, reprints that really aren't reprints or counterfeits, all that stuff going across the board. But all right, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm hoping I got the buzz out of this video. I'm going to check it here. But guys, take care of a good week, and I'll catch you all next video.